post harvest management and value addition of fruits and vegetables this course has been allotted to 6th semester bcag of 1718 batch myself s n gupta from the department of horticulture i am going to deliver today on the topic of storage of fruits and vegetables first one is cold storage India is the second largest producer of fruits and vegetables as all we know in the world after China in spite of that per capita availability of fruit and vegetable is quite low because of lack of proper post harvest um, facilities and post harvest losses which account for about 25 to 30% of production as low temperature perishability is considerably reduced and the shelf life is increased and thus the importance of cold storage of uh, refrigeration is needed the first cold store in india was reported to have been established in calcutta in 1892 with a view to ensuring proper condition in the cold store and to providing for development of the industry in scientific manner the government of india and the ministry of agriculture promulgated an order known as cold storage order 1964 under section 3 of the essential commodities act 1955 this is the picture of a typical cold storage unit original source are acknowledged storage of uh, fu um, foods and storage condition food and many other commodities can be preserved by storage at low temperature which retards the activity of microorganism microorganism are the spoilage agent and consisting uh, of bacteria yeast and molds low temperature does not destroy spoilage agent as high temperature does but greatly reduces their activities providing a practical way of preserving perishable fruit, um, fruit and vegetable in their natural state which otherwise is not possible through heating a refrigeration system works on two principles vapor absorption system vas and vapor compression system vcs vas wherever possible such a system should be selected to conserve on energy and operational cost however it has its own limitation when temperature requirement is below 10 degrees celsius VCS is comparatively cheaper than VAS there are three types of VCS system available depending upon the cooling arrangement in the storage room that is diffuser type bunker type and fin coil type diffuser type is comparatively costlier costlier and selected only when the storage room heights are low when operational cost of such unit is also higher bunker type is cheapest it is preferred when storage room height exceeds 11.5 meter its operational cost is also low fin coil type although about 5% costlier than the bunker type it is very energy efficient with low operational cost and higher space availability for storage of produce such system is used for units with room heights of 5.4 meter onwards in a refrigeration system refrigerants are used to pick up heat by evaporation at a lower temperature and pressure from the storage space and give up the heat by condensation at a higher temperature and pressure in condensation freon chlorofluorocarbon used to be a common refrigerant but reported to causing environmental degradation therefore ammonia is being in increasingly used and preferred for horticultural and plantation produce in cold storage units controlled and modified atmosphere technologies are also very um, pertinent for the storage of horticultural commodities the principle behind controlled and modified atmosphere technologies is to reduce the rate of respiration reduce microbial growth and retard enzymatic spoilage by changing the gaseous environment surrounding the food product this can be achieved by reducing the concentration of oxygen which is required in respiration or by adding 
an inhibitory gas such as carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide. A major, a major difference between C and MA storage is in the degree of control of the gaseous composition of the storage atmosphere. The CA implies a higher degree of control than MA in maintaining a specific level of O2, CO2 and other gases. Also in MA storage, the composition of the atmosphere surrounding the product is generally created and maintained by the interaction of the commodities respiration with the permeation of respiratory gases through the packaging materials. Modified atmosphere condition can also be established and adjusted by cooling a slight vacuum and replacing the package atmosphere with a desirable gas mixture which can be further adjusted through the use of O2, CO2 or ethylene absorber. In CA storage facilities, both temperature and gas composition of the storage atmosphere are regulated or controlled. The gas concentration range encountered in uh, controlled atmosphere storage are 1 to 10 percent O2, 0 to 30 percent CO2 and the balance is nitrogen. Air, as we all know, that air consists of approximately 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen and 0.03% CO2. Benefits and limitation of CA and MA storage. Reduction in chlorophyll breakdown with resulting higher color stability. Reduction in enzymatic browning in cut produce whenever low level of oxygen are used. Improvement in texture caused by the action of CO2 on enzymes acting on cellular membranes, reduction in some physiological disorder induced by ethylene such as scald of apple and pears, and chilling injury of citrus, avocado, chili and okra. Reduction in microbial activity especially molds. Now hypobaric storage, hypo means below and bare means pressure. Hypobaric storage involves the cold storage of fruit under partial vacuum. Typical condition include pressure as low as 80 to 40 mm of mercury and temperature of 5 degrees Celsius, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Hypobaric condition reduce ethylene production and respiration rates. The result is an extraordinarily high quality horticultural community even after months of storage. Now zero energy cool chamber which, which is also very economical method of storage. The principle of zero energy cool chamber is based on evaporative cooling that is cooling effect created due to evaporation of water, the rise in Rh 90% or more or fall in temperature 10 to 15 degrees Celsius from the ambient condition could be achieved by watering the chamber twice a day. Construction of zero energy cool chamber. The zero energy cool chamber ZECC has been designed by IARI PUSA New Delhi by Roy and Kurdia in 1983, which can be constructed easily with materials like brick, sand, bamboo, straw, gunny bag, etc. It was constructed by following steps identifying an elevated level space having facilities of water supply. The dimension of the floor of ZECC is 165 cm into 115 cm and layout with bricks. Double wall erection of brick at the height of 67.5 cm leaving gap of 7.5 cm in between two walls for filling of riverbed sand. The uniform texture Riverbed sand could be used for filling up of the cavity between the double wall after soaking with water. It is necessary to cover the top with bamboo, straw and other locally available material to protect the chamber from direct sun or rain. This is the typical photograph of zero energy cool chamber. Original source is duly acknowledged. Thank you. Thank you very much.